Hello and welcome back to another video with your truly Drift Shepherd. Uh, today I am going to be talking about how I got into YouTube and uh, um, I was supposed to go a little bit better, but uh, here it goes. So there has been a new update, and for those who have played uh, Need for Speed 2015. You do get the uh, skyline from the boss. I have I never played the game, so of course I don't get that vehicle, which is okay. We still get the Pontiac uh, Trans Am and the Diablo uh, DB something. Um, you know exactly what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for exactly the Pontiac Trans Am. Uh, what is it? It is the... I don't find it. Okay, never mind then. Um, but this is the sky that I was talking about. That, uh, for those who have played 2015, do, will get that vehicle. Um, the other one I was talking about is the DB... Uh, it's one of the vehicles anyways, but I'll show you in the garage. Uh, it's definitely been a while since I have played this and there's a lot of things I still gotta finish up in the game. But that is not one of them at the moment. So how did I get into, uh, into YouTube? Well, I watched, I had been watching a couple YouTubers at the time, was one of them named The Slot Train, who I still do watch. Um, and of course, it has expanded to other YouTubers that I do watch now. Uh, so, Slot Train is one. Also, I'd like to give a shout out and a massive thanks to Cloud9. Also, check out on twitch.tv slash Cloud9. I will have it in the link below. On the, on the screen so you can click on it but at the moment it is not there to click so this is the skyline um, what else? I just want to see if we do get the it will be so it's really just kind of skyline but it goes to maps I believe and it's a lot different of a color so my drift builds, the Plymouth one wasn't really, I guess, the best drift build to go with. So I'm not saying I haven't really done much to it at all either, just the OTL body kit, which I would actually like to do in reality as well, but unfortunately I won't. So this is the one that was commented on Dubs' channel, all in kids as well. Uh, he did the drift version. It did very good. Uh, also, I thought uh, commented uh, another viewer commented that the Viper will give it uh, a run for its money. So do be wary of when you do buy it that it can be beat by the Viper. Dodge wise, I will say. Um, that's really about it. Well, um, guess I'll do the other show. Um, I should have already had the vehicles uh, before I started the left, the oh, sorry, the video, but I do not. So I was, I was like saying, we're able to get it again. I oh, I think we were. I don't, I'm not 100 uh, sure if we were or not. But uh, so so the time trial and it'll probably be a cutscene. Or not. Oh, the team trials. Not doing too good, I don't think, but...
Yeah, I'm not doing too good with driving at the moment. I need to get that 140. Nice. Oh, we're getting now. Uh, did not work on that one. Straighten up a little bit. That's one done. Uh, it wasn't too much longer. I was trying to focus mostly. Oh, it's just driving it. Interesting. Uh, 172. Nice. Extra cash. You know, like $2 million rich. <laughs> In game wise. But. Level 49. Sweet. I would think. No. And all oh, content creator. Um, for recording, you would need the, an, a capture device. I have an Elgato HD60S. That's what I use. That's what I see other users use. Uh, Daniel Cross uses it. I believe. I'm not sure if Alicia uses it, but uh, there are certain users that do use it. And also some church students as well do use the Elgato. I will have a uh, straw at poll to for what games you might want to see next on the channel. Oh yeah, map. Map attack! Woo! 
Ooh. Good thing we're not full viewer because that would really bottom up your suspension. <clears throat> so, uh, for those of you who might have already played it, Need for Speed Payback is an arcade type uh, game. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, big jump. Whoa, super big jump. Right, just like that, it's done for 2 and one <laughs> You did it. I did not do the drift. So we lose a minus thousand, but that's alright. We still did pretty good. I probably shouldn't have taken it, but I thought I was able to do it. Back to the BMW. Ah, uh, this is the drift one. Yeah, keep pressing the wrong button again. So we will go probably to this gas station. It is also. I hope that uh, the studio that made the game does bring up more abandoned cars to uh, get the last ones were doubles of what you you can get again. I got them once, I didn't think it was necessary to try to get them again for the second time. Uh, I think we can do that. And this time it's not in all one drift, it's uh, throughout the drift as well, which helps a lot. I am mean, happy to see them bring back the Mustang to use more often since I haven't done it as much myself. I went through that. Oh, that sucks. So you can't break some trees, so it looks a bit... And there we go, that's completed. Those are like better because it's a total drift, not just an uh, individual one. Uh, that's not good enough. A lot of upshifting, downshifting from what I've been doing right now. Oh, nice jump. Ah, we took the Mustang. Nice. Well, maybe we left that out. I'll be uh, right off of a viewpoint, apparently. And coming in sideways completely. <laughs> Beat the exact time, and we got the drift. 
overdid by like 697. Gives us more cash to play with. So that was three of three. Series one, well, wasn't bad. I've also completed my daily challenge, which. Wait, a bunch of these open up, so I'm gonna just open up all three of them. Ooh, blue gold max. Ports token. We'll take all the all. Got uh, two. Grand Nitrous. One money in the bank, and now we got one left. So far, it was good. Uh, got what we wanted. Oh, we got one more. One smoke. I would probably sell that. Not a fan of changing the color of the smoke. So that is it for that. Uh, let's see, challenges. I wonder what the daily charge might be. Oh, it's recommended B3 analog. Okay. Oncoming driver. Probably track that one. That is true. Destroy 6, 560 objects. We did 80. And then stay more than 20 seconds above 186. We probably do that. But uh, that will be it for the video for now. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, Try to talk a little bit about the YouTube, how we got into it. It wasn't the best of, of how I explained how I got into it, but I hope it was enough. Was a bit of an insight of how I got into uh, becoming a YouTube content creator. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna probably call it uh, in the video and try and get it as soon as I can. Of course, uh, having good content over quality over quantity is a better way to approach it. So you want to have good quality video. Um, some videos may be short, some may be long, uh, and some viewers do like longer videos as well. Uh, same with vlogs is the same thing as well. But at the end of the day, it uh, should always come down to the quality of the video or the quantity of how much you put up onto your channel. Um, also, it's good to get feedback from your viewers and also subscribers as well. Both are very key. Uh, if I have much more to say, I will put it in the next uh, video, which will be coming this Thursday. But hopefully this has helped a little bit. Uh, if it did, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more. And also don't forget to hit that little notification button. It's a little bell icon right after you subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way you get up notifications to wait to when I upload videos or about to live stream or an event to live stream as well on YouTube. I haven't live streamed in a while. I don't know if I'll do that again or not. I did enjoy it. But uh, it is a little time consuming, especially when uh, my first live stream was almost an 8 hour live stream of uh, The Walking Dead. Oh, I haven't forgot, I will be redoing that live stream of uh, The Walking Dead, uh, A New Frontier. So there's no need to worry about that too much, I will be doing that. I don't know if I'll do it in a live stream, I might just do it as a, uh, a full port video instead, because it is, they're all Fifth, uh, five episodes to uh, a new frontier, and I think that would be better if I did into like a like a actual playthrough video. But uh, do let me know. I'll leave a poll of whether I should have it as a live stream again or as a playthrough, like as a port video. Uh, until then, this is your Seven signing off, and have a good day. Peace.